Yeah, I think this is working. Um, my Facebook still shows the spinny thing on the side. Okay, there we go. Um, hello, happy Friday. It's Sam with another Fractured Heroes update slash live reading for you. Um, I'm not going to stay on a long time this time. Um, we've had kind of a crazy Friday. Um, we, I mean, in, in, in good ways. We had a, um, I mean, not important to you, had an appointment this morning to get our um, driver's licenses at, at the DMV because, you know, we, we moved to Texas over a year ago but with all the COVID restrictions and everything. We couldn't, um, couldn't get our licenses to get an appointment for that until just now. So um, my normal live re video spot in the morning got taken for that. And we have someone coming over a little bit. It's just a busy Friday. Good Friday, just busy Friday. Um, so I wanted to quickly give an update and do a live reading because I promised I would, or I said I would try to for some of you. And here I am just for, just for a quick bit. Um, the reason I picked today, of course, is if you don't know already, it's because it's Bandcamp Friday. And that means that all day long, um, the first Friday of every month, at least for now, um, Bandcamp, where I have Fractured Heroes audio, audio chapters um, stored online, um, Bandcamp is waiving their fees for all purchases. All purchases. Um, so basically, the full amount goes to me directly. So the chapters are free. Um, they're always free. I can't go much lower than that. But you can name your price for any amount you want. Um, and today only, or the first of the first Friday of the month only, the full amount goes to me directly. Bandcamp doesn't doesn't take a cut. So that's a way to support an independent author and semi new dad. If you want to, if you're interested in that, um, you can always hear the audio chapters for free. But they're on there av um, available today for a special deal. Um, if you buy, if you pay any amount, the full amount goes to me directly. That's fracturedheroes.bandcamp.com. I said that fracturedheroes. Dot bandcamp com. If you want more info on that, um, you can go to the the event page of this video, which should be in there, or the, the, the description. Or if you go to my author page, Samuel N. Harris, which I'm linked to right now, it should be the, the pinned post on there. Um, it will tell you more details that you need to know. But fracturedheroes.bandcamp.com, all day long, go on there. And um, if you pay any amount for the chapters, you can, um, full amount goes to me directly. Sorry, I'm trying to get this out fast and rambling and all that stuff. Um, I have samples from book one on there and from book two, which I just recently finished drafting. I don't have the whole thing of book two audio recorded. Um, I kind of tapered off audio recording around the time um, my son was born and, and my writing slowed down. And also, I'm not sure if I want to put, want to put the whole book on there because I still need to keep some secrets for myself about the ending. But I have probably two thirds of it or three fourths or something in audio format on there. Maybe I'll do a few more reading chapters. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Um, anyway, today I wanted to do a quick live reading. Um, not a long one, like I said, because we've got a busy day here, but I um, just wanted to connect with the fans and and get that out there. Um, hope everyone is well. Hope everyone, um, those of you who are writers, writers also, are also finding time to do your thing and make things work. Um, I'm also going to a writing conference tonight. That's, that's the other thing. It's a, it's a busy Friday, I mean, virtually, of course, because that's that's the, the way we're, we are these days. But um, my work, um, where I'm a content writer, is letting me go to a writer's conference. So it's relevant to me both both for my job and for my creative writing. That's, that's, so that's cool. Um, it's just all these things coalesce on the same Friday because that's how that happens. But um, there you go. And it was the WandaVision finale, which we just finished watching. So if you haven't finished that, go watch it on Disney+. Plus. Great show, great ending. Um, I'm not doing a commercial for them. That, that, that was free. Anyway, um, you're here if you are here to hear me talk, probably, or to hear me read. Um, so I won't ramble too much. And I'm going to do just a short scene. Um, my, my last one of these, my last live reading about a month ago, I read you most of, of book two, chapter one. And there's one more short scene in that chapter that I'll read today. So this will be, this will be the end of book two, chapter one. Um, I don't think I'll, you know, I'll go live and read the entire book over time. Um, one, because it's long. Two, because, like I said, I have to keep some secrets to myself. Um, not share everything with the masses before the book is published. But um, maybe some of these introductory chapters or some of my favorite, favorite scenes I might do live readings of. We'll just see how it goes. So today is going to be the end of book two, chapter one. Um, you heard, well, if you watched, um, you heard most of chapter one a month ago. If you missed it, you can go to my video archives, and it's still there. It should be the one from February 5th, the last Bandcamp Friday. Um, go to facebook.com slash Samuel N. Harris slash live. You'll see all the live videos I've been doing lately. I've tried to do one. I think I've done one every week since, like, January. So there we go. Um, anyway, without further ado, I'm going to read. 
um, this next section. So what is it that happened? Um, basically, the, our, a group of heroes stopped a bank robbery. Um, a, ba- a robbery that was being perpetrated by a gang of powered crooks. There were like four crooks with superpowers who have been minor recurring villains for our heroes. Um, one of them got away. His name is Carl, and he shoots lasers out of his hands, like red lasers. Um, and we'll see what happens to him. So this is Fractured Heroes, book two, from the end of chapter one. Just a short scene today. Night had fallen and the sky was black. Ruby had guessed correctly. After threatening his way away from both the heroes and the police, Carl Scott had spent the rest of the day out and about, trying to blend in with, with crowds, evade police searches, and keep a low profile before heading home, back home again. Then again, the police would surely be watching his house, too. His teammates were surely in jail by now, but he could get back in touch with them and their employer later. Right now, he just needed to look out for himself. Now several blocks away from the bank, he slipped out of his most recent hiding spot and onto the sidewalk in search of a safe place to spend the night. He heard a noise behind him, as if someone else had stopped, stepped heavily onto the sidewalk. Instinctively, he almost turned back around to look, but he remembered that he didn't want to draw attention to himself or make any sudden moves. Someone else walking behind him was probably not much of a much cause for alarm anyway. Still, he began walking just a little bit faster. You, a gruff voice growled. Laser hands. Carl stopped moving and instantly tensed. Someone had managed to track him down. If you know who I am, then you know you know you know what I can do, Carl called without turning around. Leave now and I want to hurt you. I'm not going anywhere, the low voice responded. You're coming with me. Carl almost snickered. Sit yourself. He rapidly turned around and fired two bright red laser blasts in the direction of the voice. Then he looked, he looked, to, he, he looked up to see who he had hit. He quickly furred his brow and glanced around from left to right. There was nobody there. Looking for me? The voice was, was right behind him now, speaking directly into Carl's ear. Carl shouted and jumped. He turned and saw what looked like a human figure. It was almost hard to tell because his assailant was wearing all black and blended into the shadows of the night. A black mask fully covered the figure's face. Carl reached up to shoot another laser, but the man in black punched him in the jaw. Carl winced. His assailant was strong. Not superhumanly strong like a miracle, but it definitely felt like he worked out and had been in a fight or two before. Okay, that's it. Carl fired a few more lasers into the air, but he didn't hit anything. The shadowy figure was gone again. Carl turned his head and then again met with, met with his attacker's black gloved fist. What the hell, man? He called. Who the hell are you? We can't just, just leave him the hell alone. The dark figure kicked him in the stomach. You know who I am. Carl wheezed, but managed to regain his voice. Yeah, you're the stupid punk about to lose his life. He fired a barrage of lasers, almost blinded this time. His foe kept managing to evade him, so he flailed around and fired in multiple directions, too, just in case. In the distance, sparks flew, and a car alarm was blaring. No way you could, you could you escape that. Guess again, said the low voice. Again, close to Carl. Who am I? I don't know, said Carl, too scared and too frantic to fire again at the moment. Yes, you do, said the dark figure. Say it. Carl shook his head. No way, man, he uttered. There is no freaking way. That's impossible. They said you were dead. The figure appeared directly in front of Carl's face and shouted, Do I look dead to you? Two slanted white slits passed for eyes on his black mask. No way, Carl kept insisting. No way, this ain't happening. He bared his fists again, but the dark figure landed a swift punch to Carl's face. Then he grabbed Carl by both wrists and held his arms outward, away from himself, grabbing tightly. Carl could fire lasers if he wanted, but he couldn't hit his attacker. Say it, the other man demanded. Say my name. Carl had nowhere to go. He stared the dark figure straight in the face and uttered the name that had once been the bane of Wenchin's criminals. N- n- night Terror? The figure disappeared. You better believe it, said the menacing voice, this time from above Carl's head of all places. The dark figure jumped down and landed on Carl's back, crashing him to the sidewalk where his face hit the cold, hard pavement head on. Carl passed out from the impact, and then the figure was gone. End scene, end chapter. Just a little snippet for you today. Um, if that's intriguing, if you want to know what happens next, if you just like the characters and the writing style, or you just want to support an author, there is more available. FracturedHeroes.BandCamp.com on um so yeah check out the audio chap- audio chapters listen to your heart's content that scene along with much more is on there so there you go uh, today only march 5th if you pay any amount the full amount goes to me directly supports an independent author and new dad not that we're in dire straits but um hey 
a little bit a little bit of extra money is always helpful i'm rambling now and i gotta go soon so i'm not gonna drag this out the next band camp friday i guess will be april 1st if they keep doing it um which we're also traveling on that day because it's rachel's spring break so we'll have to see if i can do a video or some a short video or something that day too but um keep following for updates um if you want more videos more updates more content like this you like the story you want to follow me um go to the um let's see if we can find it um you, you can go to my landing page which is um there should be a link in the pin post of um of samuel and harris um a link in the um in the event page or in the, or, or in the, in the chat but it's a link with that Looks, has the words chipper maker chipper maker with some numbers um and it's in the should be in the pin post of samuel and harris if you go there sign up for my mailing list you will get um all the content you could want about um live videos updates in the story things like that when i eventually do publish which is the goal so keep going keep, head over there sign up if you if you don't mind and pay for the audio chapters today full amount goes to me have a great Friday, have a great weekend, and I will hear from you guys later. Bye.